Um, so there's been a lot of online. We've sort of talked about it a bit. How they're trying to convince every girl they have every disease and whatever. Yeah, you know, because he can be like a you know ADHD sure. influence or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they have a good article in Huff Post: Seven Sneaky Signs of ADHD in Women, and it basically just lists off shit that women do and tries to convince them they have ADHD. Okay, let's hear them. Racing thoughts. So any girl that has thoughts in general, <laughs> being a thought. Yeah. Is there any girl that has never had a racing thought? You Who think? doesn't have racing thoughts? You know what sometimes? I have in my house right now? A walking pad. What's that? I don't know why that reminded me of it. I have ADHD. <laughs> What's a walking pad? <laughs> like a like a standing there, treadmill kind of thing? I'm, uh, my racing thoughts are causing problems right, right, right now. Right, right. We're all over the place. Here. <laughs> Someone was trying to say something about me in the comment section a while ago. Someone was something uh, right as this, and then uh, fuck, what was it? And then everyone basically agreed that I have ADHD. I was yeah. diagnosed in the comment <laughs> section. <laughs> I'm against... Sorry, continue. What is a walking pad? It's just like a little treadmill? Are you still on the walking pad? Yeah. <laughs> you just fucking say you have a walking pad, and then I'm like, what? I don't know. No further interrogation. You guys here? fucking living in the past, man. <laughs> We're fucking three things. We're three racing thoughts. I want to know about this walk walking pad. I have a walking pad in my house. Yeah, it's a treadmill, but it's not. It's not a big like. It's not motorized. It's motorized, but it's not a big. Uh, you know, a room taker. It's not loud. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like you know, it's small and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And do you walk like do you? Uh, you have a work? standing desk. Yeah, you have a standing desk with a walking pad. I took one phone call there so far. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was like the big life. That was a big. That's my plan. That was one of the huge, <laughs> huge hacks for was uh, everybody's like get you get the treadmill desks. That's what and this then you is. You get all your steps in. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So you get the, you you take. I don't really do a ton of stuff on the desk. I don't know if much of my stuff I could do there, but basically the walking pad desk there. I do phone calls on the desk. Just, sl just really slow walking, basically. Yeah, you can Does walk it go fast. Nah, eh, I got to go as medium. Okay. You're not gonna want to crank on it anyway, though. Okay. To be honest, I'm a little big for it. If I'm being completely honest, like your stride is long. Yeah, you're pretty tall. I'm a, kind of a little big for it. Yeah. All right. Anyways, the but the ADHD thing. One of the reasons why a little bit, um, I think that a lot of times there's there is extreme cases where people have like really bad things that need to be medicated. But I find that most people that medicate things. It, it just like numbs them down in general. Sure. Where it's like when they talk about like ADHD or, or racing thoughts and all that stuff, right? A lot of the people that quote unquote have that stuff, a lot of them are like high performers. Mm -hmm. And one of the, re yeah, you're like, you get better at dealing with it and you figure out how to the, you harness it. You right? harness it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like they take away the thing that actually is kind of like unique about your brain. Sure, sure. Yeah. And I, th yeah, and I sure. think I've seen that in people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yes, there are things that people have that, uh, you know, sometimes, to be honest, like when I'm writing comedy, for example, I think one of the reasons why I'm able to make like kind of bizarre connections between a lot of different things is because I think like extremely fast and can like move on a dime. Yeah. And it's like, so I don't want to take pills that sort of take that away. No, for sure. I mean, that's like a lot of people where they have like depression or whatever and they take those pills and they're like, yeah, I'm less depressed, but you're like, my brain barely works. Yeah, my brain barely works. It's literally the fat guy getting skinny and trying to do comedy. I mean, it's not just comedy, it's everything, right? It's like, mm. but you figure out ways to like, you know, you figure out actual like logical systems and how to deal with a brain that races more or whatever but they want to tell these girls that so then they can get them on the medications yep. and then on top of that they can uh they can get them to start their tiktok channels about what it's like to be disabled sure sure and that's hot right now yes it's so hot so right hot now. right now being disabled but the ones that they're saying are all just shit that every girl does like what girl wouldn't say they have some racing thoughts you know what i mean all of them well, women are yeah. Well, women are less likely to visually show hyperactivity and impulsivity. So even if you're not, nothing seems like you're impulsive. Nothing seems like you're hyperactive. You still might be a contender. You Correct. know, They're, they they convince the girls to be retarded, basically the same way that like a used car salesman sells you a car, where he's like, you know, actually, oh, you're probably over six foot six, so you wouldn't qualify. She goes, I'm not over six yeah. foot six. He goes, oh, okay, oh, so you might be able to <laughs> yeah, qualify for our two percent discount. Sure. Then actually, she goes, oh my god, a discount for, our, for our under six foot discount. <laughs> No, I thought you were over six feet. Yeah, no, well, lucky for you, we have the the under six foot manager special <laughs> yeah. going on right now. You go, you know what? I can't show you that one because you probably drive more than hundred miles a day. So, and she goes, no, I don't. You go, 
Oh, I, oh, maybe I can show you that one. <laughs> yeah, like you just reverse yeah, yeah. psychology them into like selling themselves on the product, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what all this is. So another one is they have trouble keeping friendships. So that's not all girls, but that is a lot of girls. A lot of girls, yeah. This does not mean difficulty making friends, but instead keeping those friendships alive. Honestly, it's even funnier because like a lot of that's not. I don't even see how ADHD. I'm sure they'll tell us, but that doesn't even make sense that that's ADHD. That would make sense that that's a lot of times narcissism. Maybe yeah. Like or when like you see the type of people that are like, yeah, those kind of things. Yeah, exactly. When you see people that are like super self centered, that's the type of people that generally have like a different group of friends all the time. Right. I agree, it's a number one red flag. I do not agree that it's ADHD. But they say you may feel too emotionally drained to text a friend after a big meeting, or maybe too focused on other things to return their call. The emotional labor it takes to maintain friends can be tough for women with ADHD, according to the Shut ADHD. <laughs> Emotional labor. That's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, yeah, that's... I mean, whatever. So you're, it's like, yeah, you just, I don't know. It's not ADHD. You just start putting the effort into it. I don't know. You don't put the effort into it. I don't yeah. know what the fuck that has to do with ADHD. Yeah, I'm like... I don't know. Chicks love They're it. saying it's more effort to respond to your friend's text if you have this condition. Yeah, I feel like the condition is self. I mean, maybe if you have so many friends and you're like, fuck, my like phone has like 50 unread messages from 50 different friends. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe that's an issue. But Okay, what percentage of girls do you think might fall into this category, which now diagnoses them as ADHD? Emotional outbursts. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. I think that every, this is this is a little something for everyone too. You don't respond to your friends' texts, racing thoughts. You're emotional sometimes. Sure. <laughs> Should every girl's Emotion. reading this, being like, "I'm retarded." Yeah, yeah I have ADHD. <laughs> Let's get you on some meds. <laughs> I, I can't imagine though there's like a medication that just will solve all these. I guess they try to put you on Ritalin and Ritalin those ones. or something, but I can't imagine you're going to be not having emotional outbursts if you're on Ritalin. Also, the other thing is like I know people that take like people that are really into the taking the s drugs to study. What is it they take? Uh, Adderall. Adderall. Yeah, yeah. But it's like I think a, a lot of people have also said that like yeah, it makes me like super focused. But then like I changed my attention and realized that I was really focused on something else for yeah, forty five yeah, minutes. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember I tried it and I was like, yeah, it didn't help me. I hated it. Yeah, you, I can't imagine would be. Well, weird. that's what they're they're allegedly saying. It's for my type of personalities that right. it's good for. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, I never. Uh, I see it in other people. I hate, I hate it, like, like the, you get all clammy and sweaty and jittery and shit. It made me feel cracky as well. Well, it's meth. It made me feel like I was coming down from fucking doing coke. It is. It's fucking meth. It's like speed. Yeah. No, thank you. No. It's common for folks with ADHD to deal. I mean, here's another thing to back up. It's like think about how many people we know that are like started comedy, for example, that are like it's easier to do when I drink, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, you're like, oh, I'm like nervous, so I drink or whatever. And then now all of a sudden they have to like drink every time. It's like that's a lot of these. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. what is the difference? Person's like, you know, I kind of like am socially like weird around people, so I always have to drink. How many people is that the same thing? They're like, I kind of get anxious, so I have to take these drugs. And it's like, well, yeah, that's that, now you're doing drugs every single time and. Every single day. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, we know a lot of them with weed. Weed's this for so many fucking people. And it's like, yeah, smoke weed if you want. But it's like, dude, I was having this conversation with someone two days ago. Fuck, you might have been there. I can't remember who it was. Someone was telling me they smoke weed every day. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And they were just like, yeah, I'm not like addicted or whatever. And I was like, well, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. obviously you are. <laughs> I was like, Anything you habitually Oh, I know who it was. Eat. This is the guy who won't. Uh, uh, I won't. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he was telling me. He was like, I do. And I was like, do you smoke weed every day? And he was like, yeah, but I still got my work done. And he was telling me all this stuff. And I was yeah. like, I don't care if you smoke weed. Like, I'm everyone you know how many smokes fucking weed, whatever. Functional like, alcoholics there are? Like, yeah. millions. Yeah, it's, and it's like, you know, and some of them are like, yeah, I do my work at three, and then I start drinking at three. It's like, I was, to be honest, that for like a while, not be, I mean, I guess I would, the, there's a, there is like a little bit of a distinction between a guy that parties a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. It's like, if you are you dr drinking by yourself? Yeah. Or you, I think I was just fucking if you're, if around you're just those going, circles. Yeah, and like if you're bars in a bar every night and all and blah, Yeah, blah. that's different. And in my early 20s, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. If you're 40 and just have a Fucking bottle Seven of, drinks bottle every of night. wine a night. You're like, yeah, you're just yeah. Like now you can't get to sleep without like it. You are an alcoholic, alcoholic. and yeah. whatever. Yeah, but doctors should not be fucking forcing it. No, shouldn't be know. encouraged. It's like, yeah, whatever. If a guy wants to drink, he wants to drink. If a guy wants to smoke every day, you want to smoke every day. But don't look me dead in the eyes and just say you have no addiction to it. <laughs> Oh, you fucking nuts. Yeah, you're okay. Well, then don't do it and see what happens. Yeah, don't do it. It's like you won't be able to sleep is what'll happen. Yeah, for sure. You won't be able to sleep. You'll fucking feel wound up. I have the exact irritable. opposite thing. I, I smoked weed with Johnny last night and it fucking... 
I sleep so deep, but it's like I, I can barely like my eyes are like sting when I wake up in the morning. I'm like so what? Gro- so groggy. It's crazy. I don't know if it's just I'm you used to smoke older. weed every day. I used to smoke tons of weed, like incredible amounts. And now, like whenever I smoke weed, I'm like it literally like the next morning. I'm like so groggy. You get hungover from weed. Yeah. It's strong. Well, I don't even know, but like, it's just, maybe it's stronger. But I was smoking pretty fucking strong weed, like you know, five ten years ago. It's just like I don't know. You're saying he didn't have the dank stuff, Johnny. I, I got you. Fucking clear. He's saying he didn't the have the dank. Chronic, Johnny. <laughs> the fucking Chris. Johnny's accusing you of not having the dank. No, nah. <laughs> I, I have the dank. Uh, no, but whatever it is now, I just I'm like so groggy the next morning. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, and I actually hate it because I like smoking weed and I like you know hanging out when i'm smoking weed but now i'm like the the trade-off of the next morning now is i'm just like oh shit i'm like i actually have to put that into consideration hmm yeah like kind of sucks or good or good yeah or good yeah yeah means that it's well i just want system. my cake and eat it too i guess yeah and, uh, i'd like both but emotional outbursts according to caldwell it's common for folks with adhd to deal with emotional dysregulation I was like, the problem with these fucking articles, and they should be ashamed of themselves over there at Huffington Post. <laughs> it was like, they have no shame at Huffington Post. They don't <laughs> understand the concept of shame at the Huffington Post. But <laughs> they say that sometimes you might be uh, reacting in ways that feel to the outside world disproportional to the event. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. <laughs> For example, if a friend cancels plans, you might feel overwhelmed with sadness or think the friend no longer cares about you, or you may lose your temper over a small inconvenience at work. Also, it's funny because Huffington posts nine articles, 90 fucking thousand articles about like why you need to be more mad about this. Yeah, of course. And- if you're a Nazi if you are not angry about this. And hey, I'll say this. If, if uh, Adderall a day will make you not have any of these things, go for it. I At guess. what cost? Yeah, I guess it's worth a try. I mean... It's fucking... You know, the pharmaceutical re- industry has turned fucking people into zombies, man. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, if it's like ruining your life, you're so emotional, maybe. But again, your problem is not ADHD. It's just like you're fucking... Says that sometimes they jump to illogical conclusions. Oh, (laughs) that's ADHD. That's your ADHD acting up. Jump to illogical conclusions. Here's here's probably the best one. So this is a sign that a woman might have ADHD. Talking a lot. (laughs) Okay. All right. (laughs) Talk... Saying every thought you have out loud. You Talking excessively can be another sign of ADHD in women. Or kind of not thinking before you speak. Blah, blah, blah. Interrupting other people uh, can be a symptom of ADHD. But it's like... Uh, and again, there's probably a lot of this that's true. But they're they're like dumbing it down in a way that they're trying to diagnose everyone. Really, it's like, yes, if you do all this stuff, you might have some. And Yeah, maybe. 